this is Lisa with Holland Designs Crochet. This is a little demonstration of some of the stitches used in the twisted lace afghan. I'm making a baby size blanket and I'm using a DK or lightweight worsted weight yarn and an H hook for my sample. Um, this pattern begins by making a foundation row of loops and I'll link a video in the pattern which demonstrates how that's done. And then I've got V stitches. Um, it's just double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So there's a row of V stitches in this pattern. And then the other uh, interesting pattern, part of the pattern is this knit look ribbing, these little sections that you create. And it's done with half double slip stitch. So I'll just demonstrate how this row has worked. And the first thing I do is work a slip stitch into the next V stitch. And then I am working chain seven. And then I'm working a half double slip stitch in the second chain from hook and in each chain across. And a half double slip stitch is, as I'm demonstrating here, yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So you have three, and then simply pull through two on the two loops on the hook. So this is done quite easily in two motions. Pull up this way and then pull this way. So as you change the position of your hook, it helps it to slide quite easily. The more you practice that particular stitch, the more fluid it will be. Um, I've been using it for several years now, and it's one of my favorite stitches, and I find it as easy as working even a single crochet. So practice that one, give it a try. It's beautiful for knit look ribbing. And so in this pattern, I've just basically done my six half double slip stitches, then I've joined with a slip stitch in that same V stitch, and now I'm working back the other way. Working in back loops only, I work the six half double slip stitches. Then I do a chain one turn, and this is my third row of half double slip stitches. I do the six across in back loops only once again. And then at the end of this row, I move on to the next V stitch and I work the slip stitch in the next V stitch. And then I would again begin with my chain seven and just repeat exactly what I just demonstrated for you. So I'll finish this row and then I'll come back and show you how we continue with the actual twisting of the lace. All right, I've just finished the last section here and I have joined with a slip stitch into the same V stitch at the end of the row. And now I'm going to simply turn my work. So I've already flipped the blanket over off off screen so you didn't see me do that but I'd already flipped it so I just turn I'm gonna go back the other way now um, but first I need to move my hook to the top of this section so to do that I simply am working a slip stitch into through both loops of each of these half double slip stitches here and so that has moved my hook then to the top of that section Okay, and then I'm going to be creating chain three loops all the way across the top of these sections. So we just do a chain three, we skip the next row, and then we do a slip stitch into the third row. And this is the section here at the very end of the afghan, which is just a single ribbing, and it doesn't have a twist. So all the other ones are twisted, um, and the ones at the end are just single. So what we do now is we skip the next section, we just push it to the back of our work, and we slip stitch in the first row of that next section, chain three, slip stitch in the last row to create that chain three loop at the top. And then we go back to the skipped section and we do the same thing, slip stitch in the end of that first row, chain three, slip stitch in the end of the last row. And so you can see how that's created that twisted ribbing. Those two sections have been twisted and at the top of each section is a chain three loop, which you'll be working back into on the next row. So I'll just demonstrate that one more time. So the next section is skipped. We slip stitch in the end of the first row of that next section, chain three, slip stitch in the last row, go back to the skipped one, slip stitch in the first row, chain three, and slip stitch in the last row. Okay, so that'll be done all the way across that creates that beautiful texture and the reverse basically looks identical. Um, so once we've completed this row, 
the rest of it's quite simple. It's, you'll simply be doing V stitches into each of these chain three loops. And then from there, you'll again be working more of the ribbed section. So it's basically a, a three row repeat um, that creates this beautiful design. And I hope you enjoy this one. I know that um, it looks quite nice, I think, in this DK weight yarn with the H hook um, because the, the gaps, the lacy gaps are not too large. Um, you could try using some different yarn weights and hooks, but maybe just have a look at it first and see whether you think the gaps are too big. So if you used a, a worsted weight or a ran worsted weight, you might find that the overall effect is um, too, too lacy. So you have to just give it a try and see. But I think it looks quite pretty, and it's a lovely weight and a beautiful drape with this DK weight yarn. Um, and it works up quite quickly, too. It doesn't actually use that much yarn because there are, it is quite a lacy style and it works up quite quickly I find so um, hopefully you'll enjoy this one. I just finished the twisted lace afghan and you can see how beautifully it turned out. Texture is very striking. The yarn that I used was a very faint lavender color. Almost looks like a neutral or a white but it's actually just a light, pur light purple shade and you can see both sides are identical as far as the texture goes, which is quite nice. I love reversible blanket. It gives it a beautiful weight, and because it is lacy, it's not too heavy, but yet it has a nice warmth to it. And you can see I did a knit look ribbing here on the edge. Um, this blanket is a three row repeat, and so it works up actually quite quickly. And of course, I have the stitch demo video that is actually part of this. So this is just a look at the finished blanket. And I just did some pictures here on our bed um, of that finished blanket there. And before I go, I'm just going to show you one of the helpers that I have when I do pictures sometimes. This is a very lovely um, helper. This is Toffee Pop. And today she was kind enough to simply stay out of my pictures and take a nap at the end of the bed. And yeah, she's really sweet, but a bit lazy. <laughs>